Welkom, gratie. Salut. My hair! <laughs>
I like it. Yeah. All right, let's give this a try. Everyone wanted to see us cook Pico Express, so let's go. Let's see how it is. All right, well, you know Joe has to be cleaning in between our shots. Clean as you go. A clean kitchen's a happy kitchen. <laughs> So first we're gonna prep the one thumb of ginger and we're probably just gonna use like half of this onion, it's a pretty big onion. So when I say we are gonna prep, Joe is gonna prep the food because me and knives don't mix well. So we're gonna get all this ready. We're gonna do the ginger, the garlic, the onion, the Thai, thai chili peppers, coconut milk, and pork and put that into our wok. Okay, so according to this particular person's blog, Panlasan Pinoy, this recipe is calling for six Thai chili peppers. We're gonna use a little bit more just because we like a lot of spice. Same thing with the serrano peppers. Did I say it right? Serrano. Serrano peppers. We're gonna just use extra peppers because we like some spice in our life. So yeah. we're gonna chop that up. That should so be more than six, so it's gonna be pretty spicy, but it's yeah, fine, be, fine these, by me. These aren't that high. What else do I need to do here? A uh, thumb of ginger will be minced. Okay. See, I'm just here to for support and to tell you what to do. This <laughs> is Joe's Filipino <laughs> cooking channel. It's gonna be. still be working on the first <laughs> Okay, so now that we prepped, well, now that Joe prepped everything, <laughs> we have all that in here. We have two and a half pounds of pork belly. So we're gonna add in, we're gonna add in ginger, garlic, onion, Thai chili peppers, coconut milk, and the pork to the Ready? Okay. Okay, so we're just adding a little bit of oil to the pot so it doesn't stick. Don't want that sticky icky. We should probably turn that thing. Yeah, it just it doesn't say a temperature, it just says turn it on. So the actual recipe doesn't call for this, but we just added some extra seasoning and I just seasoned the pork belly with sea salt and ground pepper. So just a little bit, not too much. Just to add some flavor.
Okay, so I'm gonna add in the pork first. Super hot. And then all of the prepped ingredients. Yeah, it's not, it doesn't fit perfect, but... We're gonna wait till that boils. We're gonna add in <laughs> a cup of coconut milk. <laughs> this is going to boil, which won't take long. Now that makes it take a while. Chilies and coconut milk. That actually looks delicious. So now that it's boiling, we're gonna add one cup of water. We're gonna add half of this coconut cream and half of the. Spoon, oh. Nope. So now that we have all the rest of the ingredients and we're gonna reduce the heat to low, let it cook for about 50 minutes until this sauce gets down to like a quarter of the sauce. So we don't need it to be this much sauce. All right, so this is what it looks like right now. The recipe says that it's going to go down about a quarter of the sauce, but it's still pretty saucy and we've cooked it for as long as it says on the recipe. So I think we're gonna cook it a little bit longer. If you guys have any suggestions for why there's too much sauce or if this is okay, let us know down below in the comments just because when we're following the recipe, it doesn't seem right. It tastes good. Um, I added a little bit more of the bagoong because it was a little too bland and then I didn't add any more of the coconut cream just because it's still pretty saucy. So, so we're waiting for the sauce reduction but it's still, like I said, Still pretty liquidy, so we're gonna leave it on for a little bit longer. We reduce the heat, put the pan or the lid back on, and we're just gonna wait and see. If not, it tastes good, so we'll just eat it like this and see how it goes. All right, so this is what the finished product looks like. We already have all the peppers in there, so what? Then we're gonna serve it with a side of rice. All right guys, so we did it, we think. We're gonna try it for you guys, but it smells really good. The sauce tastes good. Smells good. really good. It does smell uh, really good. We tried the sauce, it tasted good. It's pretty spicy because we did add those extra peppers in, but we like spice. As so. far as looks. I feel like it kind of just looks like the other couple dishes we made. It's all of this similar color. For our first taste and final test. Here we go, cheers, cheers. It's good. It's I think it actually is good. Yeah. Mm. I mean, Zilla, I don't know what you would. I think it's a wrap. <laughs> it, no, I actually think it's good. I actually kind of like this one better than the other two that we made. <laughs> this is pretty good. I'm glad you guys suggest. Oh, Joe seems to like it. Mm. I'm glad that you guys suggested this because it actually is very good. Mm -hmm. So, if you guys enjoy these cooking Filipino dishes, please consider subscribing. Like I said, as always, we go off these videos based on what you guys want us to try. Yeah. That right, Joe? <laughs> it is. Sorry, I'm just chopping up my pork. <laughs> so whatever you guys leave us, whatever has the majority of the votes of what you guys want us to make, that's what we'll do next. We love you guys. Thank you guys that's so it. much for watching. If you guys enjoy this and want to see more of Joe, please consider subscribing. We love you guys. Talk to you guys in our next video. Bye. Bye.